High props for the Dons. They hung in there. They came right back now with Olenek uh, sitting on the bench. It may be a little opportunity, and I say small, because Gonzaga's got depth for San Francisco to kind of close the gap. Well, they do. The Dons have had several opportunities. They've had four shots to either tie the game or take the lead here in the second half, but the Zags have shut them down every time. That's going to be a travel. Good move by Rex Walters and the Dons. They go full court press. They haven't shown it a lot coming out of the timeout. Disruptive. And to show Gonzaga a new look. And they do a very nice job to get the turnover and stay in it. So these are the little things you have to do to kind of change the tempo of the game and allow the Dons an opportunity. So that was a great move by, by Walters to get his team in that full court press and it resulted in a turnover. So Cody Doolin again gives it up to D.N. Parker. Now Doolin up top again. They're going to jump out and guard all these guys on the perimeter. Skip pass this time for Dirksen. He brings Barham with him, puts it on the floor to the basket. And did a good job to draw the foul. Well, I thought your point was well taken. They're going to guard all the USF perimeter guys because the Dons don't have back to the basket players and, and people that have that kind of presence. So if you're if you're playing USF, what do you do? Well, you better jump out on Doolin and Parker and Dickerson because that's that's your opportunity to stop them. If you let them shoot wide open shots, then you might be in trouble playing against San Francisco. Dirksen makes the first and gets them both back to a three-point game. Now Adams back into the USF lineup, and Dirksen will take a seat, the freshman. I think Rogers has given Don some productive minutes too. He, to be sure, he's a work in progress, but well, you'd like to see him get a little bit of confidence and get a score down. But he is quick. He's a good jumper. He's active, and as a player, nothing feels better than to get a big score in a critical situation against a, a, a nationally ranked team. It just gets you revved up. There's Bell with a pump fake. Adams doesn't go for it. Got nine on the shot clock. They jump out on Bell, and Bell. Drives the basket, tries to drop it down for Harris, and Harris just let it, let it kind of fall off his hands. So a turnover, and the Dons again in a situation where they could get within a point or tie. Holmes comes into the ball game. Parker leaves for the Dons. Parker's playing with a lot more confidence. Well, he started the year playing brilliantly. He got off the blocks well, and, and then he went into a little bit of a lull, but, but he's back. West Coast Conference Player of the Year, uh, Player of the Week, rather, last week. So Deanne Parker's given the Dons. He's given him terrific defense. You know, he's the one that started on Pangos, and I think did a real good job on him in this game. There's Doolin, skip pass for Dickerson. Dickerson over Olinick. Scores for three. Tie game. First tie of the ball game. And they're into it here on the hilltop. Olinick the other way. Doolin takes it away. Three on one for the Dons. Doolin on the wing. Wide open Adams short. Now Pangos the other way for Gonzaga. Into the corner. Barham had a look but passed it up. Doolin right in his pocket. Now Olinick on the high post. Facing up on Rogers. Pangos moving without the ball. Couldn't get it to fall but he will go to the free throw line. Calling on Cole Dickerson, his third personal foul. Yeah, Barry, this is this is a great pass by Olenek when he gets the ball at the top of the key. So, so we're going to have let's just move it forward a little bit more. So we're going to move it forward. Watch when Olenek gets. Okay, stop it here. Here we go. Olenek with the ball, vision that way. Man goes this way. You got to have vision both on your man and the ball. Watch Olenek just kind of set it up with that nice little bump fake, and I thought I thought the defender was a little bit late. But Olenek, you know, can he play away from the basket? Yes. Is he a very good passer? Absolutely. And that was just good team play by Gonzaga to kind of get everything back in order again. But the Dons had a chance to take the lead with that three in the corner. Now eight free throws after not having any at the intermission. And Pango's very good at the free throw line. Knocks them both down. And it's back to a two-point ballgame. 
for Cody Doolin. Cody Doolin's going to come out of the game, and Parker's going to come back in. I suspect that won't be for too long. Well, this puts a lot of pressure on Avery Holmes with, with the ball right here, number 12. So he, he's the one that's going to have to run the show. He can do it. But with dueling out, which is not a, doesn't happen very often, it's, it's really essential for San Francisco to be strong here. That's a good no call. I, 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 I love, yeah, yeah, that was a flop. That's a good no call. More than that much content. And, and there's Rodgers, by the way. Pick and roll, doing his job. Rodgers, when he can stay out of foul trouble, which he's Look, in the process watch of this. bugging watch down. This. Yeah, watch that action. And now he gets a foul. It was almost like he was asking for a foul. Watch the action before. Well, here's what's going on under the rim. Dower and Rodgers. Now, to me, Barry, there's a little... I thought this was a non-contact sport, yeah. basketball. Yeah. <laughs> that's not true. When that's is that, that true? That's not true. That was true when we played. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because we avoided it at all possible Because cost. everybody's zoned. <laughs> yeah, it was typical zone. Just stand, stand, out, stand out there, shoot that's set right. shots. That's right. Well, I said it earlier, and, and I know it's going to come to fruition. If Gonzaga's going to win this game, they'll win it at the line. They, yeah, they didn't shoot a free throw in the first half, but they will shoot a ton of them in the second half. And, and, and that's unusual for Vegas in this one. Double bonus already. But the Zags only five of nine at the free throw line. So not really taking full advantage. Second by Pangos is good. One point ball game. Don's now a chance to take the lead. And Rex Walter saying, okay, keep your poise. Doolin's standing up with a towel out of his mouth on the bench. Yeah. He's saying, he say, can I get in the game, please? <laughs> good job by Holmes. Just backed up. He had a good look. Just couldn't get it to fall. And rebound down to Hart. Well, Hart Field going with experienced guys on the floor right now. And Olenek, Olenek is, I mean, here's your mismatch way down here in the corner. Olenek's being guarded by Dickerson. He's got about four in size advantage. There's a link outside, comes behind a heart screen to the basket finger roll. That he makes it look easy. Yeah, you see. know, that is a big time move. People say, well, gee, that wasn't hard. That is really hard. For a seven foot guy to make that kind of a play is incredible. Back to a three point ball game, and the Zags have not been headed up yet in this game. Well, all the Euros sure play well away from the rim. You know, an Olenek, you know, not, not any exception to that rule. There's Adams to the basket, leaves for, for Holmes. Holmes drives on Pangos, step back, and score. Boy, you love the way Holmes is playing. He knows that he is the guy that's got to handle and make plays with dueling out, and he has really come up big. Harris to the basket, trying to leave for Olenek, and Bell runs it down. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Pangos going to back it out, reset the offense. It's a physical game. It really <laughs> is. And the officials doing a really good job letting him play. Loose ball picked up, got a shooter with five on the shot clock and score. Big shot for Pangos. First big field goal. Yeah, big confidence, Jay, for him. Good to see that happen. He had a big game at St. Mary's. He's missed some wide open. I love the fact that he's still shooting. Continue to look at the rim. You're a guy that's got to score and be productive on the perimeter. So a four-point lead now for the Zags. See if USF has an answer. Tollefson down low, got a man to, behind him and drew the foul. He came back underneath and drew the foul on Olenek and he'll go to the line. Uh, how do you like Mark Tollefson? I didn't know what he was going to come up with with that move and he kind of reversed it up on the glass. I love that play. Well, you've been his champion well, since he walked out the I think the guy's here. got talent. He's got to develop his inside game. And he makes a sensational move right there. I would call that developed. We're coming back. We went to the NCAA championship every year. So. I know that. And then got UCLA in the first round. 
It's true. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were good. Well, I think I think it's interesting, and you've talked about this a lot. But at that time, it was still regional, right? That's right. So those are the two best teams on the West Coast. They met each other in the first round of the tournament. Well, in, in those years too, you got automatic buys into the tournament. So you know the tournament was not 68 teams any. You know, in those years, it was it was like 24 teams. So if you win one game, you got a good shot of, of going far into the NCAA tournament. One of those guys uh, just acknowledging you, uh, waving at you a minute ago, Mike Quick. I know a guy that you really care about a lot. And one of the great guards you talked about. He well, he is. Yeah, 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 he played with Phil, and, uh, you know, Quick was a great defender and a guy that it could really shoot the, th the, the long range shot. Didn't have the three-point shot then, but he would have really benefited by it. So uh, there was a lot of guys uh, that nice to see everybody coming back. Snake Jones was a tremendous player here. Yeah, he was. You know, they got Snake Jones, and he was an all-conference player uh, back in the 70s. He was terrific at about 6'9". Meantime, a two-point ball game, and here's the reason why. Well, here's the, the super play by Tollefson, and, you know, that's what I like about his game. You know, he's, he's an outside guy, but he's developing inside, and, and if he works on this, uh, this is a terrific shot. It's a foul on Olenek, and if it's on Olenek, it's his third, so that's a big call, and now Tollefson will get to the line with an opportunity to close this to one. And he does. So a one-point ball game, a world of time remaining. Don showing full-court pressure here.